here's a nice animation I made in Desmos. These stars spinning around, going out from the center and back in. I think it's pretty cool. Looks like there's quite a lot going on, but actually there's not too much to it. It's just a few concepts used again and again. Uh, each star is a polygon. Polygon in Desmos takes a list of points. This function S10 will be a list of 10 points, and that'll be the 10 points that are forming each star. So if I just pause the slider for a minute, maybe, and just delete this L function here, which is the location of the star. Hide those for a minute. So we'll just see one star centered on the origin. So this function S10, um, essentially it's a list of points. Again, just take out this bit for a minute. Um, this is the X value is a cosine and the Y value is a sine. So if I just say let um, the X value be cos T and the Y value be sine T, and then I'll get 10 points spaced around a circle. Okay, 10 points equally spaced around a circle. So little n, so big N here is 10 because I got 10 points. Um, you know, I could I could change that to make it 20 points or or whatever. Um, and little n here is going to range from 1 to 10. Okay. So this in Desmos um, iterates n little n from 1 to 10. So um, I'm spacing these equally around the circle because I have 2 pi on 10, 4 pi on 10, uh, 6 pi on 10, etc. Okay, now just changing the coefficients here um, of t a little bit just gives it that offset. So I think I had 2 pi on t and, and 4, 2t over 3 and 4t over 3, just to get that sort of spinning um, effect. Gives a little bit of a 3D effect to it. Now, the other bit I had at the front um, was was this, and what that's going to do, uh, mod n mod 2 is either going to be 1 or 0. Okay, It's the remainder after n is divided by 2. So every second point is going to be inset, and every uh, other point is going to be offset a little bit. That's giving this star effect. Now, this r of t function... Um, is, is a radius function which I've defined here, and that is going to use to scale the star and also the position of the star. Maybe uh, I'll look at the, the L function first. So the L is going to be a list of points, which is the center of each star. Okay, again, same idea, cosine for the X value, sine for the Y value, um, for a list of six points. And again, offset the t values inside the cosine and the sine to give that sort of um, not quite circular but offset effect. Okay, that L is going to define the center of each star and it's going to be six points for the six stars. Just show them again. Okay, so then what is this r of t doing here? The r is, is a radius function, uh, and how I've set that up is, okay, this r function is going to be the radius, um, the distance of the point from the center. It's going to come down and reach out to a maximum of six, stay there, let the stars float around for a little while, and then come back into the origin along this cosine graph, shoot back out again. And that's done with this with this function here, um, based on the remainder of which is going to be t, the remainder of t um, and four. It's either going to be a constant which is six, or it's going to be this cosine function. And that is also used to scale the star, so that's going to um, make as the star goes into the origin, it's also going to decrease the radius of the star. So it looks like it's shrinking back into the origin before shooting out again. Um, okay, so then each polygon is the the star. It's a list of 10 points defined by the star and plus the center of the star. OK, 
and that's going to give it 10 points which are offset around this sort of orbit. Each of them is a different color. Uh, this is a custom color which I have defined uh, like this using a HSV function. So HSV takes three arguments and I've got the first one which is based on some random factor C set down here again based on the size of t. So it's going to reevaluate every four every four seconds. And just space them out a bit around just space the h values out a bit so each star has a different color sort of space around the color wheel. That's pretty much it. You can increase the speed. Just a bit of an epilepsy warning here. If you don't like fast moving things, look away now. <laughs> there we go. It's a bit too fast for me. Oh, one more thing, which is the uh, the, the dark mode. So you just set that using uh, the spanner here and then reverse contrast. So that's what you're probably used to looking at with Desmos, but just clicking the reverse contrast Papa, gives you that dark mode. Papa, what are you doing? Papa, what are you doing?